Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. So in this video, we'll talk about Tron TRX to USD pair. Um, we are seeing a lot of the move. We are um, uh, today we are seeing a lot of like you know more market movers, um, especially Bitcoin Cash. I talked about Bitcoin Cash in my previous video on how it's finding the support. Um, let's just quickly cover that. That is finding the support from the trend line which was coming. Uh, all the way back from the uh, the August of 2017 uh, time frame and we found the support on that and we really bounced off that support today it's up almost 17 percent so it's breaking um, and it's going toward the first resistance point that I talked about on the weekly chart uh, which was right at around the uh, 580 590 um, mark all right so keep an eye on that mark because we have that's the first uh, target and the first resistance for bitcoin cash uh, we need to see some um, momentum or follow through in order to go to the second target which is going to be around around 750 that should be the uh, the second target for bitcoin cash okay uh, let's cover. I just wanted to quickly cover Bitcoin Cash because I just made the video on it uh, about a day ago. Um, so on in, in Tron right now, what we have been seeing um, for past few weeks is like sideways action. It's not going up. It's not going down. It's just going sideways. All right. Now this going to um, break out. Uh, fairly soon uh, if the market keep on going in the north direction we have been sitting on the support over the nine day moving average and we are coming close to the 20 day moving average um, for Tron and we haven't really gotten over the 20 day moving average in Tron um, since Jul June of uh, 2018 so it's been quite a while since we actually got over that 20 day moving average on the weekly chart we are coming close to it so keep an eye on it if we see a momentum this coin tend to move pretty fast I mean 15 sometimes 20 percent move in a day uh, if you have been with the crypto market for a while you have, I'm sure you have seen those kind of moves and it will happen quite soon and you know before you can you will get chance to think like what exactly happened you will see like 20 30 percent move in the coin um, other thing I let's look at the daily uh, I wanted to cover the daily real quick because since it's been trading such a in a, a sideway action it's kind of helps to see what exactly like you know what exactly we should see as far as the short term is uh, concerned so if I look at the daily time frame again it's like you know up and down up and down and pretty much in the channel uh, is trading like this was the bottom support is around 0 0.17 and the top resistance is around 0 uh, 0.029 so it's been in that range uh, for a couple of months so but I think it's coming near that point where it's going to break out of that range um, fairly soon right now it's uh, you know flirting with that upper resistance um, you know channel or upper resistance trend if you um, if I look at this thing um, okay so I just uh, the trend line that I drew is like uh, it's a it's a wedge formation uh, on the daily uh, not the not the big one that I have created we actually gotten out of that the big one quite a while ago but we did not have enough volume to kind of have a follow through so what we had is we broke out of that big one uh, we try to bounce but it did not have any enough follow through and there was not enough momentum in the market to get us to the uh, the uh, the target level which was around 0 0.03 okay and it has been in the sideways channel since then now what we are coming near is the apex of this um, this wedge formation that it have been it had created in last few months now we are flirting uh, with the top resistance line and I think if, if the market is remains positive for next 24 to 48 hours that's leaning into tonight an early morning session uh, Asian market and like uh, then we will see this breakout and go toward the first 
um, target point which is around 0.03 all right so that will happen fairly soon in Tron a lot of the coins are moving and uh, that will create that momentum in the overall market as well all right so Tron again is one of the coins which is like you know a um, lot of people have hopes on it and like you know it, it's been uh, the team behind it is quite active they're not sitting idle so I mean those are the good signs that I like to see from the team a um, lot of this new project, a lot of the startups, um, it's, it's, it's not easy to like, you know, have a very successful startup, okay? I have, I've been a part of a startup uh, myself, an IT startup myself, and like, you know, um, a gadget startup, but it's, it's not very, um, the concepts are... Uh, the white paper and the concepts everything is great I mean you can have uh, the best idea you can imagine in the world but it, if you cannot implement or if you don't have the right people to implement those projects then it's 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 not it's not going to go much further right because if you like I mean think about it you want to like you know go to Mars right that's a uh, you want to go to Mars let's say within a one year that's a great target right or g great idea or whatever you want to call it but if you don't have right team or right people to implement or strategize that idea or like the product around it then I mean that's just the, it's just an idea because it's not gonna move anywhere uh, so you need those right people you need the you know the team the guys who are driven behind uh, behind the project not just the white paper behind the white paper you need actual people who are uh, supposed to implement those projects supposed to be doing the coding supposed to do be doing you know and they will run into problems they will run into failures they will run into a lot of obstacles but you need the people who are driven so not the people who will give up easily and they, they will keep on try to find the solutions so they can you can move forward rather than uh, stay still so those are the things that you really need to look for in a new projects all right um uh, like I, I can just give you an example of like you know if you look at uh, let's say Amazon right Amazon is a great company right now is it's a is one of the like you know in the market cap is one of the biggest market cap company in the world all right now 20 years ago um, right now I Amazon would be a very like you know mature, it's a very mature company right in the tech arena is the one of the biggest company in the tech arena it's a mature company right but 20 years ago uh, it wasn't like that when uh, you know uh, when the founder Jeff Bezos he was just getting started there were a lot of doubts a lot of people who were in were not on the board or they were on the sideline because they really didn't think that you can sell books on internet right so but it started somewhere and it the reason it really took off is because first of all he had the vision second he was driven uh, you know he he was really you know driven enough to like really implement his vision if you cannot like implement your vision or your ideas or your strategies then like you know or if you're afraid of failure like then it's not gonna work like lot and a lot of things crashed back in that 2000 it dot com crash and Amazon was one of them he could have been easily sold his company off and he could have retired and you know, living the life that he would be completely okay with but he kept on pushing so what I'm trying to say is having the right team right people is very very important uh, rather than just having a good white paper all right um, so hopefully this is something that you look for whenever you're trying to make an investment not only in the crypto in the stock market in you know and even in the real estate whatever like your like you know investment um, uh, criteria is like make sure that you're investing um, not just on the idea but also the team the project the people behind it all right because uh, at the end of the day uh, that really drives the uh, bandwagon forward all right uh, hopefully this was a little bit helpful and you know um, you're learning from it you I mean this is uh, I think a lot of people are um, on my channel are very like you know new to investing a lot of the lot of them are just getting started with investing which is completely okay but it's like when you are getting started you need to have you need to learn from the mistakes that a lot of people have made in the past because now you're cutting the curve um, of like you know I've been doing this for you know 15 plus years I have been like doing this for a very long time and 
I have failed plenty of times in my career, um, but the things that I have learned from that, I try to implement, you know, uh, in my future investments. And that's what you have to do. You, I mean, no one is perfect, right? Warren Buffett, now you, you talk about Warren Buffett, you talk about, you take the best investors out in the world, they are not perfect, right? They, but what makes them good or what makes them great is because they are learning from, they're still learning. They're, they will tell you they're still learning about new things. And, you know, they're applying those things. So, like, you know, don't get discouraged by you know the small setbacks and like you know just give up everything and like because if you do that then you're going to be in that 90 95 percentile people who usually fail with the investing and completely like you know uh, give up and like they uh, then you you will be with the people who you know were buying um bitcoin and tron up here uh, all the way high in uh, December of 2017, January of 2018, you'll be with those people. You want to be with the people who got early in, who got like, you know, who were early investor, like, you know, and who are like buying on the dips, who are when people, other people are selling and the, when things are getting oversold, you, uh, you're buying. You want to be on the, that side because that's going to be, uh, that's going to be more profitable and that's going to be like, you know, um, actually turn your invested investment into profit all right so uh, i'm sorry a little bit longer but i wanted to like capture a few things and uh, hopefully like you know you are you know uh, applying this strategies and applying this kind of logic in your own trading and your own investments all right um again just a quick recap we are coming to an apex in um in tron if we have a positive market, remains positive market for next 24 to 48 hours, then we can easily break out of this and we can run toward that 0 0.3 mark in, in Tron. Okay, and that's all for today. Uh, let me know if you have any question. Please post it in the comment and I will happy to look at those coins and you know make a video on that. Talk to you soon.